What's going on, horror gang? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please be sure to shoot that like button and subscribe to the channel, as well as hit that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about Will Frank Hawkins be the one to kill Michael Myers in Halloween Ends if they decide to kill Michael Myers in Halloween Ends. But before I do that, let's hit that intro. I shut in six times! Alright gang, so let's get into it. So, Deputy Frank Hawkins, as we know, was a character that was introduced in Halloween 2018, and as we've gone to find out in Halloween 2018, and even more so in Halloween Kills, is a character that was much more involved and had a lot more to do with how the ending of 1978's Halloween played out. We go to find out that Hawkins was not only there that night, in the whole reimagining scene of Halloween Kills of how 1978 played out, they follow Michael to his house, his partner gets killed, etc. Then we later on in the movie find out that Dr. Loomis was going to fire the seventh shot into Michael and that it was Frank Hawkins who intervened further, Michael Myers surviving and just being sent off to Smith's Grove Sanitarium as opposed to possibly being killed on that seventh shot fired by Dr. Loomis as he was aiming it towards Michael's head. Now, of course, that does not mean Michael would have died from that seventh shot from Dr. Loomis, but given what they've given us with the dialogue and the story, Hawkins stopping him to fire that seventh fatal shot kind of makes you believe that that's what they were going for, that basically Hawkins stopped Dr. Loomis from killing Michael Myers. So, fast forward obviously to Halloween Kills, further into Halloween Kills, and you can see Hawkins when he's in his hospital bed talking to Lori, they're delving deep into the story, and you can see that this has lived with Frank Hawkins ever since that night. He, ever since that night that he intervened with Dr. Loomis, killing Michael Myers, he has been living with that regret his entire time afterwards. So, with that being said, that leads me to think, could we actually see Frank Hawkins be the one to kill Michael Myers if they decide to kill Michael Myers in this movie? Now, I know a lot of people are like, man, you know, this is like the second video you've done where you're talking about Michael Myers possibly being killed. Listen, guys, I said it before. I don't think it's a, a, a far-fetched idea. We are, as fans, looking for them to do something different. So it's not it's not insane to think that, holy shit, they might actually kill Michael Myers in this movie. So with that being said, a lot of us believe that if they do kill Michael Myers, or quote-unquote kill Michael Myers in this movie, that it will be Allison Strode who will be the one to kill Michael Myers. And I've even gone on record and state that I believe that she will be the one to as well. But Frank Hawkins is an interesting dynamic and an interesting character for this as well as because of the backstory that and the history that he has with Michael. In all honesty, Frank Hawkins is the reason that Michael Myers in storyline context is still alive. Like I said a few min a few minutes ago, he's the one who stopped Dr. Loomis from firing that seven fatal shot into Michael's head. So, from what they're kind of presenting to us storyline-wise, like I said, it's like as if, if Hawkins doesn't stop Loomis, maybe Michael Myers dies from that shot. We don't know, obviously, but that's kind of the idea that I'm getting from that. So, with that being said, it would not surprise me if Frank Hawkins would actually be the one, if they kill Michael Myers in this movie and they shock the hell out of everybody, or if they at least make it look like Michael Myers is dead, it would not surprise me if Frank Hawkins would be the one, not Allison Strode or Laurie Strode, or even Lindsay Wallace, 
it would not surprise me at all if it would be Frank Hawkins to kill off Michael Myers for the simple fact of the history and he's lived with this regret for so long and he wants to get that back. You see it in the Halloween 18 before Sartain intervened and stabbed him in the neck. He wanted to shoot he wanted to blow Michael's brains out right then and there. But obviously we know you got Sartain in the middle and he was trying to get Sartain to move. He didn't know Sartain's intentions and then obviously bam, you know, the shock move when Sartain stabs him with the pen knife, whatever, etc. So you know, like I said, guys, it just doesn't, it would not surprise me at all if Frank Hawkins would be the one to kill Michael Myers if they decide to kill Michael Myers in this movie. And I actually think they might mirror the scene as if it was Dr. Loomis, or you might even have like little flashbacks in between, you know, how certain movies, like when, you know, they're doing a pivotal scene and then you I see a quick flashback. It would not surprise me if in that moment of Hawkins about to shoot Michael in his head, if Michael's on the ground and he's got him in the position he wants, you know, to kill him off, it would not surprise me if they do a quick little flashback to Loomis from that night in 78, you know, when he has the gun cocked at Michael's head, or it wouldn't surprise me if they just do it in that same type of scene, scenery, same type of reference to Dr. Loomis trying to kill Michael Myers that night in 1978 that Hawkins obviously intervened and stopped him from doing. I think it's an interesting dynamic. I do expect Frank Hawkins to have an even greater role in Halloween Ends than he has had in Halloween Kills and in Halloween 2018. I think his character is a lot more important, you know, than what is even being talked about out there. I think that he could have a potential showdown himself with Michael. And it would not surprise me, like I said, if his showdown with Michael could possibly could possibly be the ending. Could possibly be the end of Michael Myers. He has the background. He has the history. He has the story. He has the motive to want to kill Michael Myers off himself. It's not just Laurie Strode. It's not just Allison Strode. It's not just Lindsay Wallace. He as well has a dynamic and a motive that he wants to finish the job that he couldn't finish in 1970. Well, he didn't let Dr. Loomis finish in 1978. And he wants to rectify that mistake. And Halloween ends. It would not surprise me if they went in that direction. And in all honesty, like I said, I think it's going to be Allison. But would I be mad if it's Frank Hawkins who kills off Michael Myers? Absolutely not. Alright gang, that's my thoughts on Frank Hawkins potentially being the one to kill Michael Myers in Halloween Ends if they decide to go in the direction that they will kill Michael Myers or at least make it look like as if Michael Myers is dead in Halloween Ends. But I want to hear from you guys. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the potential of Frank Hawkins being the one to kill Michael Myers in the ending of Halloween Ends if they do decide to kill off Michael Myers' character, or at least make it seem as if he is dead. But all right, gang, that's it for this video. Once again, this is our Shop Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host, Marcus. Please shoot 